enough to get the PR set of the new Kat Von D eyeshadow quads which are the basically they're being uh, marketed as a contouring quad for your eyeball they come in four colors um, plum sage smoke and rust so I asked all you guys on Instagram and I asked you on Twitter and it was like a resounding please do rust I'm like, what, what, what quad do you want me to use? What quad do you want me to do like a look with? And obviously you can do this look with any quad because the shadows and the principles of what you're doing with these shadows is the same exact thing as what I did with this quad. But uh, you guys wanted this color, so I did this color. Um, I added a wee bit of glitter, as you can see. Because, you know, your girl likes glitter. This is actually a very largely Kat Von D uh, brand tutorial. I used Kat Von D products for my contour, my highlight, my lips, my eyes, my liner. I think that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have a good time watching me film it. I hope we get to know each other a bit better. I sincerely hope that in the comments you will let me know if you like this kind of tutorial in the sense that I'm talking at you as I do it instead of doing a voiceover because I don't know if you're gonna like it um, I love you guys so much you guys are amazing the comments you leave me are fantastic and it really makes my day my week my night whenever I'm reading it I'm just like I'm so blessed I'm truly blessed that I get to talk to you guys on Instagram on Twitter on YouTube thank you for being you and I will see you next week bye Okay, so I am going to start by taking the lightest shade, which is technically a highlight shade, but it's my skin tone. <laughs> so we're gonna start with that. I'm just taking a big, fluffy, like, flat brush. This is from Tarte. I got it in a palette. Um, I have already primed with the Kat Von D primer that they were kind enough to send. I primed it before I started doing this eye makeup and it has not creased so that's a win for Kat. So then I'm going to be going in uh, with the orange shadow which is called the Define. Uh, like boom. Like It's so freaking pigmented. Like I said, because the quads are awesome, because they're very simple, and they really increase your chances of success because of the simplicity in the quads. So, so now I'm gonna take a blending brush. Like, the Kat Von D brush, I really like it, and it serves its purpose well for what it's supposed to do. It's a contour brush for your eyes, so you have the two necessary shapes. But you still need a blending brush. As you can see over on this side, it's honestly not that blended out. I just kind of diffuse the edges a very little bit. Uh, personal preference. I'm just gonna get the pigmentation in the shape I want. Gonna like slightly push my brush around to diffuse it. I'm really happy with that part now. That shape, I'm I'm content with that. I'm gonna do the same over here and like start at the base push all the pigmentation down and then slowly move it up really like pulling the pigment out that's how I'm gonna blend this <laughs> I'm just pulling it out <laughs> that's what she said gonna put a little bit more down here you don't have to go up as far as I am by any means that's just what I prefer to do because I I feel like it really makes my eyes look a lot bigger. So as you can see it's already like lifting. Like look at this brown. 
so pigmented. Oh, now I'm going with a darker shade. So I've gone in with this guy and this guy now. It doesn't have to be perfect the first go round. So I'm going to go back. And in case you didn't notice, I'm using the smaller end of that brush. And I'm not, um, I'm not pushing this color up as far as I was with the other one. Because uh, I just kind of, I'm going to blend it out. I know it's going to move up further. But I also, I still want that gorgeous rust color to be very, very visible. Because... She's the highlight of the show. So, because this is a smaller space and this brush, uh, I'm using the other end of the Kat Von D brush, because it's an interesting shape, I'm actually just kind of patting it around in just very small motions. It really doesn't need that much of a blend. It just kind of has to be where I want it to be, really. So I'm just very quickly and very lightly going over those edges for my own sanity. Hell yeah. So I am taking the lightest shade again, which is technically the highlight shade, but as we've already said, it's the same color as my skin tone. And I'm redefining the areas in the center of my eye. For glitter today, I'm going to be using Modern Love by Lit Cosmetics. I'm taking the Too Faced Glitter Insurance, which looks like this. Oh, that I will be doing a how to apply glitter tutorial. A few of you guys said on my last video that you're like, Hell yeah, we're down to clown. Show us how to put that glitter on. And I'm like, okay, I will. Because there's a lot of different ways I apply this. You know, uh, to Lit does have their own adhesive, but for the purposes of this look, I wanted to use this adhesive. So in my next video, I'll go more in depth on what makes me choose what kind of adhesive to use, I guess. So I'm just going to dip the brush in that glitter and then pat it where I put that adhesive down. I actually haven't used this glitter yet because I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I hardly ever do like what can be construed as like a neutral eye, which this is, this is pretty damn neutral guys. I really like it, but I typically don't do this. The thing is I think about is like any look I do with bright colors, you can do with neutral makeup. Like anything I've done, like look at my channel, anything I've created, you can very easily swap out those bright colors for something that's just neutral. Uh, now we're going to do Kat Von D Trooper uh, Liquid Liner. Here's the eye. Oh my goodness, it looks so nice. Uh-huh. And that's the one I did on camera. This is the one I did off camera. Hopefully, they look the same. So, now that we've gotten through the exciting part, and let me just say, I feel really hot right now. Like, this makes me feel good. <laughs> um... We're gonna, I'm gonna do the rest of my face on camera with you guys, because I figured, oh, why the heck not? Kat Von D, Shade and Light, Contour Palette. It looks like I like this color right here. A lot. <laughs> so, I go in then with a Zoeva Luxe Cheek Finish brush. I just take this color here. I don't do any mixing, I just take this one. 
slowly blend it. If you put too much on like I did, it's okay, just blend it out. So there's like a bit of a harsh line right there, but that happens a lot with me. So <laughs> don't get discouraged, I make it work. Contour, looking pretty groovy. This is one of my go-to blushes. It's like, I go with Milani Luminoso, and I really like this blush as well. It's NYX Apricot. I actually blend it all through my contour, and uh, I rarely bronze, so this, like, the blush is kind of... I do weird stuff. Look, oh, I'm putting my blush on my forehead. <laughs> oh, looks fine in the end. So, now I'm going to be taking Kat Von D Thunderstruck. I think it's called Metal Crush Eyeshadow. It's nice because I can kind of see from a distance how the highlight's gonna look. And it looks baller. <laughs> I like to think of it as like I'm putting my highlight on a shelf of cheekbones. And the cheekbones I have created through illusion and contour powders. So, let me look at you guys, looking at you. <laughs> 